Hello. This is a demonstration of the sound of Luma 1 compared to an original LM1. Um, this is a Rev3 LM1. Uh, it's actually the machine that I used as a reference uh, when I was designing Luma 1. And Luma 1 faithfully replicates the CPU, display, control panel, mixer, uh, and most importantly, voice architecture of the original LM1. So uh, Luma 1 uses the same DAX, the same VCF, uh, the same kind of loose mechanism for generating sample rate clocks, the same loose mechanism for generating the master tempo clock, um, and, and it plays the same samples. So Luma 1 should sound just like an LM1. It's, it's, it's basically a re-implementation of the LM1 circuitry. Um, Luma 1, of course, adds on to the side of that uh, an additional microprocessor that can provide features like MIDI um, and, and downloadable samples. Uh, so what I'd like to do today is just walk through uh, each of the sounds one by one on each machine uh, and, and let you hear how they sound. And then I'll play uh, a very famous pattern so that you can hear how the sequencers on both machines compare. Um, as you probably know, on the LM1, every voice's pitch is adjustable. They're all tunable. Uh, and so I've tuned both machines uh, to have the same pitches. Uh, the mixers uh, have both, uh, have all the channels set at the same levels. The volumes are set the same way. Uh, it's completely dry. Both machines are feeding into this little Roland keyboard amp, uh, and um, the levels are set the same. The equalization is set the same. Uh, on the keyboard app. So, um, so let's just get started. Let's see how it sounds. And I'll start in the, the lower left with the, con the lower conga. And so I'll play it on Luma 1, and then on the LM1. And I will do the upper conga. And on the LM1. And we'll do the lower tom. Upper tom. Uh, the quiet snare, the bass drum, upper bass, I'm sorry, uh, quiet bass, the hi-hat, and you may also know the way that the LM1 generates the hi-hat is extremely unusual. Um, there's basically a continuously playing waveform uh, that an envelope gets applied to. And, and this is really cool because it means if you look at the hi-hat um, on an oscilloscope, every time you hit it on an LM1 uh, or a Luma1, the waveform is a little bit different. It depends on where into that continuously looping waveform you trigger the hi-hat sound. Uh, and this, this is something that only the LM1 had. Um, the DMX, drum tracks, other machines of the era um, would just play back the, uh, the hi-hat sample and it would sound exactly the same every time. So again, here's the hi-hat. And then um, here's the, the quiet hi-hat. And then here's the open hi-hat, which just allows that loop to continue to play until you close the hi-hat by hitting one of the other hi-hat keys. Cowbell, some more cowbell, rim shot, claps, tambourine, quiet tambourine, kibasa, quiet kibasa. Okay, so that's all the sounds. Um, they sound the same to me. Uh, now I'm going to um, go and start playing a pattern. So let's listen.
Now we'll go do the same thing on the LM1. Okay, um, so that, that's a comparison uh, of how they sound, both uh, individual drum samples uh, and, um, and patterns playing back. Uh, both are playing back at the same tempo, uh, they're both at 120, uh, and as I mentioned earlier, the, the drums are tuned the same way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, I'm sure we'll make some more comparison videos, it's uh, a lot of fun to do this, um, and thanks for watching.